Finding the best dribble moves for your build is something I still see people struggle with. So in this video, I'm gonna go through all 12 important dribble animations and let you know which ones are the most overpowered no matter what your height is. And at the end of this video, I'll go over some combos I like to use and give a short tutorial over one of the most important moves that anybody dribbling in this game should know. All right, before we get into the six I think you should use, let's go over what they added for season four. All right, for crossover in season four, they added Tyrese Halliburton. I don't know how I feel about it. There's kind of like a little hitch in it when he crosses over or he does a hizzy and then he hangs and he goes between the legs or he crosses over. And me personally, I don't like moves that hang like that. I want to just get into my move and go. I like more smooth moves. Tyrese Halliburton does not look bad. All right, I don't know why I didn't realize this before I got into these new moves, but every season, whoever the NBA player is of that season, they add all his moves into the new season. So all these going to be Tyrese Halliburton, but they added Tyrese Halliburton behind the back and it looks pretty decent. It doesn't look bad. That gives you a little move right there. If you see it when it comes up again, he does that move right there. That's kind of like the Jamal Murray that we all do. I do not think this is messing with Jamal Murray. You can switch it up if you want. If you're getting tired of Jamal Murray, you can try this out. Moving on to the spins again, we got Tyrese Halliburton and it looks decent. I feel like there's already a moving spin in a game that looks just like this. I think this is exactly the same as one that I've seen before, but Tyrese Halliburton moving spin is now in the game. On to our hesitation, Tyrese Halliburton right here again. I don't do hezzies a lot. I do them sometimes. If you like this movie, it has a good animation in it where you flick it to the, if you hold down your right trigger, you flick your right stick to the same ball hand, it'll give you a huge hezzy right there. That animation you just seen on the screen, but that's Tyrese Halliburton hesitation. First, we're going to start with our guards that are under 6'5". And if you watch my video over last season's best dribble moves, a lot of these moves are going to stay the same because nothing really got added and everything that was good didn't get patched. So everything that was effective and cheesy is still effective and cheesy in season four. But for your dribble style, you're going to want to go with Kyrie Irving. If you have a build that's under 6'5 and you cannot get Kyrie Irving dribble style in season four, I don't know what to tell you, but Kyrie Irving is definitely the best dribble style in the game. If you can't get Kyrie, you can go with some of these other ones like Magic Johnson, Zach Levine, or Gabby Williams. But with that being said, if you're going to be under 6'5, you might as well take advantage and get the best dribble style in the game. Moving over to our signature size up, and I want to say again, for this category, there's only one signature size up you probably should be using, and that is Steve Francis. I'm using Steve Francis. It's the best in the game. It's the best to come up with. I feel like it's the glitchiest in the game, but I know there's some of y'all that don't have a 95 ball handle, and you can't get Steve Francis. So if you can't get Steve Francis, I recommend going with Derrick Rose. All you need is 87 ball handle, or you can go with Trey Young. This right here, you need a 92 ball handle, so it's a little bit higher. It's not as high as Steve Francis. So if I was to put these three into a tier, I would put Steve Francis at one, Trey Young at two, and I'll put Derrick Rose at three. But all are definitely pretty good, and you can get away with it if you don't have that 95 ball Handle. For your regular breakdown combo, I've been using the same combo the whole year on my guards at under 6'5", and it's going to be Darius Garland. Super simple combo, real good combo to use. If you do this move, I don't do breakdown combos a lot, but if you do this move, you can combo up with it and get yourself open. Moving on to the aggressive breakdown combo, just like the regular breakdown combo, you're going to go with Darius Garland again. To me, it is the best in the game for guards that are under 6'5", if you can get Darius Garland. I think Darius Garland might be the best aggressive and regular breakdown combo in the game, but you have to be under 6'5 to get it. Moving on to our skate moves. This right here, I feel like a lot of people use Trey Young, but me personally i'm using kimba walker i've been using kimba i did use trey young for a little bit when the game first came out but the reason i use kimba is because when you do the little crab and i know y'all know what move i'm talking about i'll show you later on when i get into the tutorial part of the video the little crab when you hold down your right trigger and you flick diagonally up left or right and you speed boost out of it i feel like when you do that move it's a little bit better with trey young you get more separation if you're trying to do one of the glitchiest moves in the game which is what i'm gonna go over later on in this tutorial you want to have on kimba walker i think it's a lot easier to do this move with kimba walker on you can do it with trey young but like i said it's easier to learn and activate if you have on Kimber Walker. Next one to our combo moves right here. I'm using Steph Curry. A lot of people don't do this move. A lot of people don't know how to do it. The way you do it is flick your right stick left and right real fast and then you get a combo move. Nobody really does it. I did see a couple people do this move and then combo it up with a snatch back or a hot back. So you can get kind of glitchy with it and do a little different things off of it. Onto the crossover, I've been using Kobe Bryant on all of my builds majority of the year. I did see some people talk about John Wall, so I might throw that on and lab with it this season and see how I feel about it. As of right now, I'm using Kobe Bryant crossover. Moving behind the back, there's no debate. There's some that are good. I will, I will give you that. They are good. When you talk about the best one in the game, it's going to give you the most separation and allow you to score effectively. You're going to want to go with Jamal Murray. Steph Curry is good. I feel like it drains a lot of stamina and also James Harden is pretty good, but it's just not as good as Jamal Murray. On to the spins. Y'all did see that we got Tyrese Halliburton spin added this season. So y'all can try that out if you want to. I don't do moving spins a lot this year because they're not the same way that they used to be in the past with the glitchy spin back. On to your moving hesitation. I'm using John Wall. It is pretty decent. I think it's good for smaller builds. The way you combo up with it is real quick. It's not a long hezzy or anything like that. That you use on a taller build. It's real quick. You can add into your combos. My favorite hesitation in the game for my builds that are under 6'5 is John Wall. Onto your step back. I'm using Steph Curry. I've been using it the majority of the year. The only thing I will say that this does not have is the hop back. So the big LeBron James hop back that everybody sees, that everybody spams over and over again. It does not have that move in it. The snatch back and the other moves you get from it, I feel like are better for me when it comes to comboing up and doing different moves and chaining moves together. I want to have on Steph Curry. I think for builds that are under 6'5 and the type of dribbling you're going to be doing if you're under 6'5, you want to have on Steph Curry. And for triple threat, really simple i'm using kobe bryant nothing too crazy right here you just want to throw him kobe for your triple threat all right now we're going to go over the best dribbles you should be using if you're from 6'5 all the way up to 6'9 
9. Okay, starting with our dribble style. Magic Johnson, the best dribble style in the game. Four builds within that height range. Did recently get nerfed. I will say there is a huge difference in this move right here. The animation completely changed. Well, not completely changed, but it, it's, it's different. You can, it's a noticeable difference in the animation whenever you try to activate, you try to do the misdirection, but it is still effective. So you still can use it. Right now, I'm still using it on my 6-6 six, six builds just until I lab a little bit and figure out what I really want to go with throughout the rest of the year since they nerfed the dribble style. But you can put on Magic Johnson. The only difference now is you have to get separation from your defender a little bit and scoop back and then do the crossover because now if you do it, it gives you a little hitch and you kind of like stutter stepping and then you try to cross over and you will get bumped into your defender. So you want to back up a little bit, create some separation and you can still do that misdirection and then go the opposite way. For the signature size of my tall builds, I use a few different ones. You can use De'Aaron Fox. That's a pretty good one. Tracy McGrady is another good one. It's very smooth, very good to combo with along with Dwayne Wade. I've used all three of these throughout the year and they're all good. You can't go wrong with either one. On to our regular breakdown combo. I do not do these moves a lot, but a very good breakdown combo you can put on is Penny Hardaway. And all you need for Penny Hardaway is an 85 ball handle and to be under 6'10". You can't go wrong with it. Throwing Penny Hardaway for your regular breakdown combo. Moving on to our aggressive breakdown combo. Another good move you can throw on. You can add into your combos if you want to have that kind of dribble style. If you want to do those combos and chain them up and then cancel out of them with different moves, you can do that. I personally don't, but I have used them here and there and Jamal Murray is pretty decent. On to the escape moves, you're going to want to go with Kimball Walker. Some of y'all will be able to lock Trey Young at a 92 ball handle, but the majority of my builds that are over 6'5 up to 6'9, you're going to be able to get Kimball Walker. And I personally think the Kimball Walker is the best escape move. When it comes to doing your crab move or doing your cancels one way to the other, Kimball Walker is the one to go with. Now for your combo moves on my 6'6 build, I use Tim Hardaway. If you can't get Tim Hardaway with that 90 ball handle, you can level some other ones. This move's not done a lot, so a lot of people aren't going to be doing this move anyway. A lot of people don't know how to activate it. But for my 6'6 build, I'm going with Tim Hardaway. On to your crossover, I'm going Kobe Bryant. On all my builds that can't get it, I'm using Kobe Bryant. I might try to lab up John Wall. Far behind the back, this right here is the most broken move in the game, I feel like. Every build can get it up to 6'9 with the 83 ball handle. So you got these crazy type defensive builds, spamming Jamal Murray behind the back, getting open three. It's super hard to guard, and I'm surprised it hasn't been nerfed yet. But 2K nerfs a lot of dribble moves, so I'm glad they haven't. They need to buff defense instead of nerfing, instead of nerfing moves. But Jamal Murray, you want to use it on your tall builds. On to our spin, we're using basic. I don't really do this move a lot. I use basic on all my builds. I just throw it on just because I'm used to using the basic from past two Ks. This year is not the same, so that's why I have that on. All right, onto hesitation. I'm using Ja Morant. This right here allows you to speed boost out of certain moves on the tall build because speed boosting on tall build is harder to do compared to whenever you're on a smaller build. So the way to kind of get out of that and cancel out of these slow animations they give you, you can just flick your right stick to the same side ball hand, do a hezzy, and you'll be able to speed boost out of that move. Moving over to the step back, I'm using John Wall. I tend to ISO whenever I'm on my taller builds, so that's why I go with John Wall. I feel like John Wall has some of the best animations within the package that allow you to ISO effectively and get some open shots super easy. And then for triple threat, very simple. We're going with Kobe Bryant. So now I'm gonna tell you what I recommend if you have a build that's 610 plus. For your dribble style, you don't got a lot of options, but normal is pretty decent. So I would say go with normal. For signature size up, I'm going with pro. I feel like it's the easiest one to combo up with whenever your chain moves together. Your regular breakdown combo, you want to go with pro as well. And for my builds that are over 610 that I play with, I do use my breakdown combos a lot just because you don't have as many moves in your bag as you would if you were a smaller build. So breakdown combos do come in handy. Onto the aggressive breakdown combo, I'm using Victor Wimiyama. This one right here dropped last season so i've been using it since last season and it's pretty decent onto your escape moves kevin durant is by far the best one if you're over 610 this is where you're gonna get your misdirection behind the back your hezzies your misdirection crossovers all that's gonna come from your kevin durant escape moves and this is by far the best one if you're over 610 all you need is a 75 ball handle so the majority of y'all should be able to get this onto the combo moves again i do not do this move a lot but i'm gonna go with pro for our crossover again we're gonna go with kevin durant kevin durant has some pretty good decent moves when it comes to these taller builds just because he's a taller player so if you're able to get his animations you can't go wrong with him onto the behind the back you're gonna go with LeBron James. This right here is kind of slow when you do the behind the back like the Jamal Murray when you hold down your right trigger and you flick down diagonally left or right. This move right here is kind of slow but if you ask me it's the best option we have. Onto the spin. I definitely don't do no spins a lot on a 610 build but go with basic. Onto your hesitation you're going to go with pro. It's pretty decent. It's nothing special. But for a 610 you can't go wrong with it. Onto the step back. I have labbed a few different step backs but I came to the conclusion that Vince Carter is the best one to go with. So I'm going with Vince Carter. It has a good snatch back. has a good step back in it. Pretty decent move all around. And then finally for our triple threat like the rest of my builds, I'm going Kobe Bryant. All right, right now I'm on my 6'3 guard, so these moves are gonna look a little bit different if you're on the taller build because you're gonna have different six on, you're not gonna have these exact six on. But the way you do them is all the same. No matter what build you're on, the way you activate these moves are gonna be the same. So just follow along no matter what moves you got on. So this first combo I like to do is some of my favorite combos when I come down to court. I'm gonna do a crossover right here. I'm gonna flick diagonally up left or right. I'm gonna hit that crossover without holding turbo. I'm gonna flick and crossover. The next move I'm gonna add to that is a crab. So the way you do the crab is hold down your right trigger. 
if you're gonna flick your right stick directly up left or right it's gonna get a move right there it's gonna look just like that if you have on Kimmel Walker it's gonna look just like this if you don't have on Kimmel Walker it's not but that's the way you do it is hold down your right trigger right stick down up left or right the third move we're going to add to this is link it to your step back and that's going to be your snatch back the way you activate this is hold down your right trigger again and you're going to flick down on your right stick it's going to give you that move right now i have on step curry so that's why i get this animation if you have something on differently then it's going to give you a different animation so when we put them together you're going to flick crab and then snatch back and that's the way you do it that right there is a little slow down version but we put it all together fast and give you this move right here you're going boom boom and then snatch back. That right there is a very good combo to come down the court, get into your moves. All right, this next move I like to do, I want to come down the court. I'm going to hold down my right trigger this whole time. I'm going to flick down to get this snatch back. So I'm going to get that move right there. After I get the snatch back, I'm going to do a crab. And then I'm going to follow that up with a behind the back Jamal Murray. It's going to look like that. So when you put it all together, it's going to like this. Snatch back, crab into a behind the back. You can crab back this way with a behind the back that way. Just do different moves, you know, combo up different moves in different orders just to keep the defense off of balance. All right, now for what I think might be the most overpowered move for a guard. And I think every guard should have and it's the l2 cancel i have other videos on this move but i want to try to go over it again for y'all i tell people all the time learn how to do it with the behind the back and the snatch back first because it's a lot easier and once you get that timing down you can do it with the crab all right so i'm gonna speed boost one way while i'm running hold down my left trigger and then i'm gonna flick to do the behind the back the way you do the behind the back is hold down your right trigger and you flick down on your right stick and the timing on this is what's super important you can only l2 cancel out of a speed boosting move so right here when i do this move and i'm speed boosting while i'm running in the middle of me running is when i want to hold down my left trigger once i hold down on that left trigger for a millisecond i'm gonna hold down my right trigger and then do the behind the back back this way so let me do it again for y'all y'all can slow down the video if it's if it's kind of fast for y'all y'all can slow down the video but you want to run middle of the sprint boom behind the back you can also run middle of it and then snatch back and once you get those two down i feel like those are the easier ones to do you can put the crab in and when you're crabbing one way so i'll do our crab while we're moving hold down our left trigger and then crab back the opposite way it's gonna get that l2 cancel if you made it this far you have all the dribble moves you need for all your guard builds but click on this video right here while i give you the best jump shots for all builds and heights